award-winning veteran actor. Ladies and gentlemen, he needs no introduction. Is the man we all love to hate. Mr. Jamie Butler. San Bonani, <laughs> no! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the videos on the history of South African cinema. We're back with another one and it's a little bit different. This is Jamie Bartlett, A Journey of Remembrance. Jamie Yoink Bartlett or Jamie Bartlett was a British-born South African actor best known for his role as the Wicked Puppet Master David Gennaro in the award-winning South African musical drama series Rhythm City produced by Quizzical Pictures. Jamie was born July 9, 1966 in Maidenhead, Berkshire, England to a British father and a South African mother. Not much information about his upbringing is available except that his father who was a disabled after being hit by a truck was his influence to his style of acting. I was born in the UK and I grew up uh, during apartheid in Cape Town and then we shipped here. I come from a disabled father who was advised to go to a far warmer climate and they chose Cape Town and we, I grew up in the Cape and had to take the inevitable Johannesburg transfer that was offered dad and uh, finished my school in Johannesburg and then drama school uh, in Cape Town at UCT and then after that to the UK and did a bit there. Along his life journey, Jamie would find love and get married to award-winning actress Camilla Waldman, known for her role as Andy Villas in the South African soap opera Generations. The two met in 1992 and later had a son named Hector Bartlett, but they would later divorce and details surrounding when they got married and divorced still remains unclear till this day. Pursuing stage performance as a profession, Jamie's career can be traced back to the independent anti-racist theatre in Newtown, Johannesburg called the Market Theatre, also known as the Theatre for the Struggle. Jamie went on to be the leading man in many stage plays and win multiple awards during his theatre career. This includes the most prestigious award in the world of stage performing, the Fleur du Cap Theatre Award. This was for being the best actor in the 1987 satire play called East. Well, it wasn't until 1987 that Jamie's theatre career took a back seat and his new interests and focus would be performing in front of the camera. The former theatre lead man would lend a supporting role in the cult classic film franchise American Ninja series, appearing in American Ninja 2, The Confrontation, and American Ninja 4, The Annihilation. Rangers. Rangers, huh? Yeah. What the hell those bums doing around here? This was Jamie's first film production gig, which explains his short supporting role in American Ninja 2. But this thespian must have impressed the producers of the film because he was also cast in American Ninja 4, The Annihilation, and he went on to get more screen time and film more scenes alongside Michael Dudigoff. I must say that this film production went on to help launch many of our favorite, now legendary actors' careers in South Africa. This includes the likes of Ken Gambu, Michelle Bouts, Jonathan Pina, and Adrian Wadron, to name a few. These were flood, Dragon River overflow. From 1987 until 2013, Jamie continued working as an actor in many films and appeared in more than 10 international and local films as a lead character and sometimes as a supporting role. His film laundry list includes memorable films such as Sweet and Shot, Bravo to Zero, Avengers and The Sexy Girls, to name a few. Many don't know this, but Jamie Bartlett was a well-known credible actor prior to him being the most loved and popular villain David Gennaro in Rhythm City. In 1997, Jamie Bartlett would star in his first made-for-television film called The Sexy Girls, playing the lead character Milo. In that very same year, Jamie would fully transition to performing for the small screen, leading him to winning two awards, the Crystal Award and Avanti Television Award for his stellar performance playing the character of Mike O'Reilly in the hit award winning soapy opera Isidingo. Here's a fun fact, Mike O'Reilly played by Jamie Bartlett was the first character to speak in the first scene of the television series Isidingo when it first aired in July 1998. 
Jamie went on to play Mike O'Reilly for the next two years and also starred in a couple of local and international movies from 1999 until 2007. But it wasn't until the year 2007 that will be life and career changing for Jamie Bartlett when he took over our television screens every evening with his portrayal of the thought-provoking, manipulating, charismatic and memorable performance of him playing the role of David Gennaro on Rhythm City. 13 years of playing David Gennaro, Jamie's hard work, experience and passion for the arts would pay off because he went on to win three South African and television awards for best actor. Sadly, 14 years and 3,660 episodes later, the television network ETV would announce the ending of Rhythm City in 2020 and the last episode airing July 16, 2021, leaving many of the show fans on Twitter feeling like the show ended when the character David Gennaro exited the show. Some even going as far as saying that David Gennaro's character carried the show and he was the show. In a print edition of Drum Magazine interviewed by Bonolo Sikudu, Jamie shared that post him exiting Rhythm City he had plenty to think about. But one thing was clear, and I quote, I'm not done with acting, not by a long shot. I'm ready to inherit another 25 years of something different, Jamie says. With a heavy heart this morning that we mourn the death of multi-award winning South African actor. Tributes continue to pour in for the award winning veteran actor Jamie Bartlett. Well, sadly and unfortunately, everyone that loved the man won't get to witness the next 25 years of his greatness and memorable performance. The 55 year old Jamie Bartlett was loved and adored by many South Africans and would pass away in his sleep from cardiac arrest Monday evening on the 23rd of May 2020 at his Johannesburg home. His sudden death sent shockwaves across the entertainment industry because Jamie was not only a prolific stage and screen actor but he was a father, a public leadership and business etiquette coach, a mentor and a public figure and he will be dearly remembered by everyone that loved him. Long live Jamie Bartlett, you'll forever be immortalized on film.